Marian Keller, president and founder of Marian Keller and Associates, joins us now from Stanford with her thoughts on the possibility and the timing. Marian, we're glad to have you with us this morning. So it seems like tomorrow could actually be announcement day. I mean, we know GM has invited analysts, potential investors, shareholders to Detroit. What are the chances we get this news tomorrow? Well, I think tomorrow is going to be a day when GM focuses on its strategy. What's it going to do uh, to demonstrate value to uh, potential buyers of, uh, of, of the stock in an IPO? Uh, so from the program that uh, appears to be in place, it's going to be uh, looking at uh, GM in North America, its strategy, uh, GM in Europe, and uh, the issues that it's had with Opal, I think, have to be addressed before it can do a successful IPO. It has to tell us. Uh, for the money that it's going to be investing, how it's finally going to turn that business around. Because, Marion, and then, I think it's, I don't want to cut you off, but I mean, it's safe to say investors don't have a lot of confidence in the auto industry right now. Um, investors are very concerned about uh, car sales. Car sales look very weak for June. Uh, at the retail level, they've been actually dropping. Uh, and on a seasonally adjusted rate since April. So uh, the economy from the consumer's point of view is not that, uh, not that buoyant. So let's talk about the, the implications for GM's balance sheet. I mean, the company doesn't have a great credit rating either at this moment. So if it does uh, need more capital, it can't really go a conventional route. Well, General Motors um, is going to probably have a hard time uh, borrowing uh, in terms of uh, uh, normal capital for uh, for operations because of uh, the fact that uh, in bankruptcy its uh, its creditors were not treated very uh, very well. Um, so General Motors is going to have to rely on its own cash, the cash given to it by the Treasury, the cash it generates, and of course, uh, hopefully in this IPO, there'll also be new shares sold that, that bring more money into the company. Uh, lots of people have focused on the Treasury's stake in the company and the need to bring it down below 50 percent, but I think uh, an IPO is also going to have to generate new cash for GM. So, Marion, let's talk about some of the details then, what exactly you expect. I mean, how big do you think the offering will be? Well, I, I, I'm only guessing here, but I think that it's probably going to, it's safe to say it's going to be uh, a, in the 10 to $15 billion range. That's, uh, that's where the speculation puts it. And if you think about the, the Treasury selling down its stake below 50%, it probably gets you to a number like that. So do you think if you had to say what percentage the Treasury would have left, how much would it be? Well, all it needs to do is get below 50 percent. So whether it's uh, 49 or 45, I'm not sure. But uh, but I think the magic number is to get below that 50 percent line, so that the, so that it no longer is controlled by the U.S. Uh, by the U.S. Treasury. We've talked. And to I think sorry, other shareholders would would also sell down probably in uh, in comparable amounts. So, Marianne, we've talked a little bit about some of the confidence issues facing the industry, but how will the market, do you think, receive the offering? And, of course, we're making the assumption that it comes to market. Well, I think we have to make the assumption that General Motors, or have the understanding that General Motors is a very different company than the one we all predicted was going to go bankrupt at some point and did. GM today has lower labor costs. Uh, it They've has moved a, much, a lot to Latin America, right, as far as they, manufacturing goes? Well, they have very strong operations in Latin America. They always have had a very good presence in Brazil. Uh, GM's product line, the new products, are actually being very well received. So, you know, this is a different company, and I think if we can take away perhaps our annoyance at the fact that it had to go through a bankruptcy and was bailed out and is now owned by us, the taxpayers, <laughs> we can look at General Motors and say, hey, this is a company with some pretty good product with low cost and, um, and hopefully uh, a better culture that is faster moving and more decisive than it has been in the past. I think that there's things to say that about a GM IPO that, that if, if the economy is right and if car sales are, uh, are improving, uh, will make this a very good deal. Marianne, we thank you for your time, for your insight. Marianne Keller, president of Marianne Keller and Associates, joining us there from Stanford, Connecticut.